Oh, I'm telling the world now, bro. I know you from that little ass room, bro. Out. Oh, what the fuck was that? Your mother lived out. Was that Glen Arden, Gatesburg, somewhere, wherever the fuck three went to the school on the yellow bus? You know where's that? With the, you know where's that? Whatever, Glen, whatever the fuck it is, Germantown, wherever the fuck is that? Had that little ass room. You were shocked, Lizzie, with that little ass boy egg room. Your room's the size of a boy egg. Fuck. I ain't trying that shit. I know what the fuck is going on. I know what the hell's going on. 301 baby, you snaked them out. Wanna tell you why you snaked them out? Jack Lizzy snaked 301 baby out. 301 baby introduced him to another nigga that was higher than 301 baby. He had more money. He said, fuck 301 baby. He used to drive around 301 baby cars. It was it was double MG. It was GG, double MG, something, whatever the fuck it is. He left baby alone. Baby spent all his money. He wore all them baby chains. He shot baby videos. He shot videos on Moco. Be Leah baby whole life. Left baby ass on stuck. Baby ain't rich today. Baby spent all his money for Shaggy to be Shaggy. Baby ain't get shit out of this shit. He ain't buy baby a Richard Millie. He ain't buy baby a Rolex. He ain't buy baby shit. Fuck that pop. That ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Then he went and traded on the nigga. Ten years later, that nigga's hot. The nigga that the nigga that he ran off on his man for to spend all the money on him. Y'all remember me and my nigga baby. I'ma get B matching BMs for me and my nigga baby. They never got them BMWs. I'm telling you, shot used the shit out of him. Fuck that shit though. Then he went and linked up with another nigga. When he linked up with the other nigga twin, the nigga twin just got locked up on some other shit, like some kingpin shit. He told, he told everything. But that's this nigga that bought Shaq Lizzy Rolex, all Shaq Lizzy gold chains, all Shaq Lizzy shit, bro. I was dead. Like, I used to be with Shaq Lizzy. Shaq Lizzy, I know the real you. Marquise, bring your ass here. Somebody get his ass here. I know your mother, Peaches. I know Peaches, bro. I will never disrespect Miss Peaches on here, because guess what? I got respect for Miss Peaches. Miss Peaches is a gangster, and I still love Miss Peaches. I don't give a fuck how her son act. Fuck you. Nigga, if I ain't had nowhere to go, nigga, and I walked in Miss Peach's house with your motherfucking ass, guess what? Miss Peach gonna fix me something to motherfucking eat and ask Aunt Izzy, all right, and I'll never disrespect her, because guess what? We was in her motherfucking house. Just like you was in Barbara's motherfucking house, you should never disrespect Barbara, but you's a bitch. I ain't you. Fuck you talking about? It don't matter. I would never disrespect Miss Peach. Thank you, Miss Peach, for letting me in your house when I was a piece of shit. I truly, truly thank you. The fuck? Because I don't know what Marquise on. Marquise is ass with Because he acting like he don't know me. It's me, Marquise. The nigga who used to take you everywhere. Fifth pocket. You was my fifth pocket. I used to have you in the fifth. The whole city know I had you in the fifth. Take you everywhere. What no bloody gang. We was too deep. What no chains getting took it? Fuck. Kevin Nichols used to go to ice cream truck for me. Now you walk around with Kevin Nichols in your gang. Remember you used to tell me, man, don't bring Kevin and them around me, bro. I don't know what's up with them Riggs Road niggas. They be throwing me off. Riggs Road and the Addy be bumping heads, bro. Fuck Cam. I don't be fucking with Cam. He a wild ass nigga. He ain't even really from around here for real. But I ain't, you gonna act like you ain't never said that. And I told you, nah, Kevin Nichols, my man, bro. Kevin Nichols being miles, bro. I trust Kevin. Kevin, my man, I had to vouch for Kevin. Now you running around with Kevin Nichols like you so loyal, bro. You's a wild fucking nigga, bro. You's a wild fucking nigga. Wow, fucking one. Tell him. Running around screaming all this loyal shit. Kevin Nichols and did everything. He been there the longest. He don't got a Rolex. He don't got a chain. He ain't got nothing. You just straight said, fuck Kevin Nichols, huh? Kevin Nichols deserve a chain, bro. He was dead back in the days. I was dead. That's your loyalist homie, bro. I go on this nigga, call him dirty every day, bro. He still stand up for your bitch ass nigga. I did more shit for him than you, and he went against me for you, and you still ain't put him on, you unloyal ass nigga. You fake ass nigga. Fuck you talking about? Keep screaming all this 30 shit. Nigga, 30 mother burnt, house burned down in the fire. She needed $5,000. What the fuck was your rich ass at then? Fuck you talking about? Your man needed a motherfucking lawyer for a pill. Your neighborhood dish you. What the fuck was your rich ass at then? You had a Maybach. You bought all this rich and milli. But your man needed 4000 for a pill. What the fuck was your rich ass at then? You ain't rich. You's a bitch. You just out here manipulating Instagram. But I put your ass on blast today because you asked for it. You post the barber, your ass is grass. Let's go. Where you at, Marquise? Let's go. I got a lot to ask you. I got a whole lot to fucking ask your rich ass. Because you ain't acting rich. You so motherfucking rich. Your uncle live on the motherfucking fourth floor. He up under me. Flat, that's your uncle. Flat busy, right? He live up under me. I see him every day. I help him in the elevator. I open the door for him and all that. Because that's my man, bro. That's your fucking whole uncle. You will throw up my mother with your uncle down there. Because you don't give a fuck about him. But guess what? I do. That's my man. Fuck you talking about, nigga. Flat the real big glizzy, nigga. He be outside more than your bitch ass. He active. You so rich, he got to push wheelchair. I be having to open the door and push him in and shit. Why the fuck you don't get him the electric joint? You getting so much money, get flat the electric wheelchair. Because he got the push joint. I be having to help him on the elevator and shit. You good, flat? Fuck you talking because your bitch ass don't be here. You so fucking rich. You bluffing. 
Stop bluffing. Stop all the fucking bluffing. Marquise, where you at, Marquise? Bring your ass on. It's your time to shine. I was trying to let him talk before I aired all this business out. That ain't even nothing. That's zero percent of it. I'm going to tell y'all another thing. I got a warrant right now in Atlanta, Georgia. It's seven years old. It's non-extraditable. It's a misdemeanor. Shy Glizzy was in Atlanta. We was in a parking lot. The music was playing real loud. The rapper police undercovers ran down on us. Shy Glizzy had 20000 in his pocket. I had like $20. Shy had a three five. He got caught with the... No, matter of fact, he didn't get caught. He took the three five out of his pocket and threw it in the truck. Police searched the truck. We was there with Shy Glizzy. It's a Glizzy. We was with Shy Glizzy. It's a Glizzy game van. Shy in the motherfucking van. I'm in the van. Quita in the motherfucking van. Shy girlfriend at the time. Shy manager Benny. And five star the fucking cameraman. Five star fucking pa fucking father is a pastor. So he can't even be on the weed shit like this. So all these people I name, you can ask them to know if this is a true story. Police came. They searched everybody. We didn't even know Shy Glizzy had a 3-5 in his pocket. I just remember he the only one had weed because we was with Shy. Shy took the weed out through the weed. He had 30 minutes to put the weed in his dip. He's so scared he threw the weed out instead of stashing his on him because he's not a street nigga. We get out the car. They search everybody. They find the weed. They got everybody lined up saying they about to take everybody to jail. Everybody on the curb. Shy got 20000 in his pocket. I got twenty. Everybody going to jail. The pastor fucking son with us. His girlfriend and the manager. Everybody fucking going to jail. You know what the fuck Shy doing? He ain't saying nothing. He over just scared as shit. You know what the fuck I did? I stood up like a man and said, hey bro, that's my weed. I put that weed in the motherfucking car. I put that weed in that's my weed. I wasn't I don't even know where to buy weed in Atlanta. I ain't even know where the fuck to get no weed from. Guess what the fuck? I went to jail and I told Shad, just bomb me out. He got twenty thousand. Just bomb me out. I ain't gonna let them take your twenty thousand dollars and this little for this little ass bit of weed. And I'm broke. He ain't say nothing. He about to let his girlfriend go to jail. About to let the manager go to jail. About to let the cameraman go to jail. Everybody, cause his bitch ass can't stand on a three five. I took the charge for your bitch ass. That's just one percent of it. Then I went home and then as we at home and shit, we home. I told you I had twenty dollars, cause all I do is run behind. Shot Glizzy and hold his book bag. How the fuck am I making money? I'm not making no money. I'm fucking supporting this nigga dreams before he even had dreams. But we're going to talk about this, Marquise. Let's go. So, yeah, I'm running around. So, now I told you I got the charge. I got bonded out. I got bonded out. I went to the studio with it. I went home. I'm 10 hours away. I don't got no fucking money. My life is running around behind Shot Glizzy. I asked this bitch ass nigga, yeah, bro, I got caught in a month. You going to make sure I get the court? Yeah, my court date came. Did he make sure I get the court? Fuck no. He told me out his motherfucking mouth. Damn, bro, you can't get mad at me. I ain't tell you take that charge. You ain't had to take it for me. What the fuck you mean? It wasn't my weed. It was your weed. I took it for your girlfriend when go to jail. You wouldn't lose your 20000 I'm a real nigga. That's what the fuck I'm supposed to do. Your manager, Benny, won't go to jail. That's why the fuck I did it. I never went to court. I'm on the run in Atlanta, Georgia right now because of shy motherfucking glizzy, nigga. You want to tell the real stories, nigga? Let's get real, nigga. I'm on the run right now. It's not extraditable. That's the reason I'll go to jail for as a misdemeanor weed. That shit might be sponge because the limited expectation ran out how many years ago it was. But the nigga's a whore. I keep backing this bitch ass nigga. And if you think I'm lying, I named five people in the story. White Gold, your motherfucking girlfriend, Quita, Benny T, the manager, and Five Star, the motherfucking nigga. You ass, you ain't on nothing, bro. You bitch ass nigga. It ain't even no charge no more. It ain't no charge. It's not extraditable. Nobody can't go to jail for it. It's a misdemeanor of weed. It's not extraditable. That mean it, it's gone. It's over. Like.